What's up, y'all? Welcome to HQ Trivia. I'm your host with the most holding it down in Scranton, PA. Smooth as the edges of the smoothest paper stock. Word, it's me, the one and only money flipping Matt Richards, AKA Matt was funny. Y'all ready to play some HQ Trivia? Huh? Who's ready to get paid? I know I'm ready to pay somebody, so let's get it popping. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. We're about to do this. Buildings in a single bound. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. Shazam. Oh, hey, everybody. Woo! I was fixing my feet, so I had to step down and I was like, oh, oh, we're back. Back already. Ah, it's office trivia night, baby. I know you guys are excited for this one. Where my office heads at? Huh? Throw up some office supply emojis in the chat. Give me a stapler, you know what I'm saying? A pencil, a notebook, or something. A computer, perhaps. Whatever, this is gonna be so much fun. We might even have some Dundee Awards to give out in a little. So, uh, don't go nowhere. But first, you guys know how to play, right? I'm asking 12 questions. They start out easy, but they get harder than putting up with Michael Scott all day. He's a difficult dude, man. Yeah, but we love him, okay? You got 10 seconds to tap the correct answer. Get all of them right, and you and whoever's left is taking home a piece of that prize. That's right, babies. We got $5,000 up for the taking. How much of that money will you be making? We're gonna see, all right? Oh, guess what? We love surprises here at HQ, all right? So tonight, we're doubling the points. All the points are getting doubled, baby! All the points you earn tonight are gonna be multiplied by two, okay? You're welcome. You're so welcome. Extra lives, I tell you about these all the time. Y'all know what they do, okay? They keep you in the game after you get a question wrong. You can earn them by playing five days in a row. Or by inviting your friends to sign up using your code. We wiped the whole slate clean, okay? So all them referrals, we just wiped them away. That's what we did for season three. Now you can re-invite your friends and rack up on those extra lives, babies. Ah, 
I hear some of y'all been saying HQ is too easy. Hey, Money Flipper, why is it? Why are the questions not difficult, Money Flipper? We got him! We got him coming, y'all. That's right, I'm talking Smarter Day. We've accepted your challenge. We're giving you a harder game for all those smarty pants out there. Come out and play Smarter Day. Smarter Day, Smarter Day, Smarter Day. This Saturday, all right? Don't miss it. It's gonna be litty in the city. Also, this Sunday, it's all about Marvel, baby. Yeah, we're bringing back the theme you love. So come out and play 9 p.m. Eastern this Sunday. We got $10,000. Okay, show off your Marvel movie knowledge. Don't miss out, that's this Sunday, 9 p.m. Hey, take a look at this. Tall buildings in a single bound. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. Shazam. Woo, we keep showing you the same one, but it's, that's how good the movie is. Okay, because we really want you to see it. Now, I heard a rumor going around that there would be no Dundee Awards this year. Bumper told me we only have a budget for uh, one office event a year. But, I wasn't going to let that stop us. Let's take a look and see who won. Dundee Awards! Jen! For being the most amazing wife ever. That's from your husband, Joe. Who's next? She's amazing, Jen. Fabrizio! For introducing his brother, Luciano, to HQ because he's now addicted to it. So, shout out to you, pellet player. Uh, Chelsea! For being a pro at HQ Office Trivia, you deserve your very own personal Dundee from Michael Scott himself. Alex! For playing Michael Scott in our college productions of, uh, of The Office. Not my college, somebody. Okay, I gotta see that. Uh, Presley! for being a newbie at the office and loving it so much that you watched the whole first season four times in a row. That's crazy. And Charlotte, for being the best friend that makes me go to class when I really don't want to. I did that. I read all those names. Okay, a couple seconds to go, H quizzes. So get ready, stretch, stretch your thumbs, and get your fingers all limber. Ah, what's happening to me? Babies, we got half a million people in the game tonight. It's about to get wild. Nothing to it but to HQ it. Let's get it going with question number one. Who is Michael Scott talking to in this scene? Take a look. Why are you the way that you are? Honestly, every time I try to do something fun or exciting, you make it not that way. Is it Ryan, Toby, or Jim? Who's it gonna be? We are about to see. All right now. Come on, babies. Well, come on. Michael would never talk that way to his bros, Jim and Ryan. But Toby, Toby on the other hand, Michael hates everything about what Toby chose, <laughs> everything about what Toby chooses to be. Just hates it. Ugh, poor Toby. 367,300 of you just got that one right. That's wild. We are moving on to question number two, babies. Let's go to work. Who is the secret admirer that sends Kelly this valentine? So, I received my first valentine from a secret admirer. Is it Colin Farrell, dental office, or Prince Harry? Hmm? Who's it gonna be? All right, Kelly, like most of us, is so unlucky in love. She got it from the dental office. Take a look. Roses are red, violets are blue. It's time for your dental cleaning and maybe a checkup too. Poor Kelly. It's all good. Dental office was the answer I was looking for. 351,088. Just got that one right. It's time for question on number three. Who's ready? I am. Let's go, babies. Q3. In this episode, Aaron and Andy sing to the melody of which artist hit? Thunder Myth and Ann Saver. 
So yeah, 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 yeah. Don't you think it is a part of sovereign? So yeah. Is it Miley Cyrus, Lady Gaga, or Britney Spears? Who's it going to be? Miley Gaga or Britney Spears? Alrighty. The only problem, it's pronounced Sabre, not Sabre. But, party in the USA is still a banger. And a nice way to welcome Gabe to Scranton. For sure. Miley Cyrus, babies! Yes, 385,301 just got that one. So proud. You killing it. Ow. Okay. Yes. Yes, kings and queens. Question number four, knocking at your dough. Give me some more. Here we go. Who forgets their purse in this classic cold open? No, no, Michael, no. Touch the handle. If it's hot, there could be a fire in the hallway. What does warm mean? Is it Meredith, Phyllis, or Kelly? Come on, office heads. Y'all know what's happening. You know what's going down. Basement. Friday the 13th, and guess who's playing Jason? Woo! Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Leave it, Phyllis! Things can be replaced. People can't. Credit to uh, Dwight, though. You know, if you really want to test fire safety, just get a fire going. <laughs> Phyllis, babies, 284,942. Just got it. So proud. Killing the game. Word. Proud of all of y'all. Here we go. You know what happens after question four. Ah, 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 ah. Question five. Question five. Ah, 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 ah. Question five. I need some tea. Okay! What danger do Dwight and Michael warn of in this music video? Take a look. Sitting in my office with a plate of grilled bacon. Call my man Dwight just to see what was shaking. Yo, Mike, our town is dope and pretty. So check out how we live in the electric city. <laughs> is it a spider bite, a raccoon attack, or a rabbit snake? Huh? What's it going to be? Let me know. Come on, lock it in, babies. All right, straight out of Scranton. NWA looks different on The Office. Michael raps about a spider bite. Take a look. Call poison control if you're bit by a spider, but check that it's covered by your health care provider. <laughs> spider bite, babies. Yeah, 182,689. Ooh, spider bite was the answer, but raccoon attack just knocked a lot of people out of the game. So you know what, I'm gonna take a pause for a second. If you wanna get back in, tap that button, right? It's a button right now, right? You see the button? There's no button. Use Extra Life, or buy one if you can, okay? Yeah, we don't want you to leave. We got more questions, baby. Yeah, come on, stay and play. Okay, question number six, here we go. Who asked the first question of Prison Mike in this scene right here? This scene right here? I'll tell you what it is really like. I'm Prison Mike. Is it Angela, Jim, or Pam? The first question of Prison Mike in the scene we just showed you. Okay, okay. Here we go. Angela wants to know if uh, Michael really expects them to believe that he's been in prison. And Prison Mike responds pretty aggressively. <laughs> Angela, babies. Yeah. Whoa! Da ah, shoot. Mmm. <laughs> Y'all see what I see. I'ma just uh hit me with the hit me with the graphic. Savage question song! Sorry you got it, bro! Savage questions. Damn! Oh! <laughs> oh, that should. She said, I hope you got an extra life. <laughs> I didn't know it was going to. I don't know when it's going to do this. Okay? Don't look at me like that. I don't know. I see some of y'all cursing at your phone right now. I had nothing to do with that happening. That was y'all. Y'all tapped. Okay. Ah! Whew. I don't even want to read the number. That hurt my spirit a little bit. 
Question number seven. Here we go. What does Stanley initially say in reaction to his uh, Dundee nomination in this episode? Take a look. All right, okay. we got it. Good. Leave it at the door? Or... Yeah, that's fine. Okay. All right, Stanley's initial reaction. What does he say? Okay, have you lost your mind? Do you know the time or why are you here? Lock in those answers, babies. That's Mario. Is that Mario? Come on, baby, baby, come on. Yeah, that's Mario. Okay. Even though he's being nominated for a prestigious Dundee Award, okay, by two bosses, no less, it's early. What are you people thinking? Take a look. Congratulations. Have you lost your mind? Get off my property before I call the police. <laughs> Oh, I want to I wanna be Stanley when I grow up. 95,000. Got that one right. 95,127. So proud of y'all. Okay, it's time for question number eight. Know you're feeling great, babies. Question number eight. Know you're feeling great. Where does Jim Carrey's character have to go after his interview? The Finger Lakes? Fargo or Borkston? Hmm? What's it gonna be? Jim Carrey. Where's his character have to roll out to after the interview? A lot of people wanted Michael Scott's job, all right? You know, it would have been amazing if Jim got it, but he has to go find his family in the Finger Lakes. The Finger Lakes. I want the job. I really do. It's just the rest of my family's in the Finger Lakes right now. I'm supposed to be in the Finger Lakes right now. I love Jim Carrey, man. He is just so great. The Finger Lakes was the right answer there. 81,904. Still in the game. Moving forward to question number nine. Question number nine. Hope you're feeling fine. What movie had Angela and the senator seen before allegedly conceiving Philip? Thor, Moneyball, or The Help? The movie that Angela and the senator watched before they conceived Philip. Allegedly. <laughs> right, we later found out that the baby was actually Dwight's. Spoiler alert! And uh, not technically a senatorial Thor baby. Thor! That's what they was watching. The senator and I wanted to wait. But we had just seen Thor and there was way too much wine in my chicken piccata. Thor! All right, 26,565, still in the game. A lot of extra lives getting used. Y'all, y'all, y'all are going for it. You're going for the gusto. It's time for question number 10, my friends. Here we go again. Time to get it in. Where did Bob Vance buy Phyllis's perfume from? Glamorous Worcester, Metropolitan Orlando, or Urban Illinois? What's it gonna be? Bob Vance, got some, some perfume for Phyllis. Y'all remember that? All right, you got a lot to learn about this town, sweetie. Bob Vance knows how to treat a lady, right? And that means buying her pine-scented perfume from the home of Disney World, Orlando. Bob Vance bought this perfume for me in Metropolitan Orlando. It's made from real pine. Also, shout out to all my homies in Worcester, Massachusetts. It's spelled real goofy, but it's pronounced Worcester. 29,892 knew what to do. Oh shoot, look at you. It's time for question number 11, babies. All dogs go to heaven at question number 11. Here we go. What tattoo did Gabe say he got to impress Aaron? A Nike swoosh, majestic racehorse, or a taco? Hmm. What's it going to Gabe is, uh, he's too much, okay, right? He brags about having women scream their own names and then gets a tattoo of, well, just do it. Take a look, take a look at this. I got a tattoo for you. I didn't ask you to get that Nike swoosh. Nobody did, you did that for you. Silly, silly Gabe. 23,379 are still in it to win it. We got one question left. I hope y'all ready. Y'all ready to do this? I'm ready to do this. I'm ready to do this with you. Question 12. What's that smell? Smells like money. Follow me at Matt What's Funny. Woo, question 12. 
I said, question 12. I said, question 12. Ha! Question 12. Yo, y'all want to see something funny? Huh? Look at this. I still have the, uh, the little thing on my jacket. I didn't steal it. They just forgot to take it off. Okay. Question 12. In this scene, who does Dwight say is his best friend? Himself, Jim, or Pam? Take a look. Oh, we're gonna see. We're gonna show you. Pamela Beasley Halpert is my best friend. So. Ha! Huh. Dwight came a long way, baby. And underneath that weird looking exterior might be a genuinely kind person, as revealed by his declaration that his best friend is office administrator Pam Halpert. Pam, y'all, 13,360 of you just won HQ Trivia! Woo! Oh yeah, Tamura, Tam, 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 <laughs> Wit Khalifa. Oh, that's funny. I like that. Lexi Lin, John Gent, Call Me Bop, Mega Her, Flifuerte, and Valley Cat. Oh y'all just came up, got a little change, and didn't have to do nothing strange. I'm so proud of y'all. You did it. You won HQ trivia. Oh my, oh my. So excited. Y'all did it, babies. You guys are officially HQ Trivia winners. You know what I'm saying? I've been your host, Matt Richards. Follow me on the socials, at Matt Was Funny. Let's be friends. You know, Words is up next at 9.30 p.m. with my girl, Anna Roisman. We're continuing office night, babies. So don't go away. Have an awesome Thursday night, H Quizzes. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, bye-bye. Bye-bye, bye. -bye. bye, -bye, bye, -bye.